So basically what we do is uh, we hand stretch um, all of our pies. Uh, you don't have to throw the pie in the air at all. Uh, you know, every now and then we'll do it uh, for show, but basically we keep it on the table at all times. And the dough is uh, pliable enough now. Biggest thing with uh, you know, <clears throat> the dough is it's not the type of the dough. You can use a uh, low protein flour. You can use a high protein flour. Uh, you can use a wet dough, you can use a dry dough, it doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is that your dough has been fermented properly and that uh, that proper fermentation is going to allow you, you know, the elasticity that this dough has to where, you know, just touching it a little bit, you know, obviously it's uh, changing quite a bit. This is actually kind of a fun little uh, bit of information, but if you see anybody using a ladle like this, you know they've been making pizzas for a really long time because all of the newer places, they have the, the flat handle that comes out like this. Yeah. Um, and all the old school guys, because they didn't have those ladles back then, so this was the ladle. I started with these ladles and uh, I prefer them, so that's why we use them here. So put a little bit of sauce on, not too much. Um, you know, we don't really heavily season. Again, it's uh, just getting back to uh, starting with good ingredients. Um, it's basically just, you know, ground tomatoes. So, <clears throat> but uh, being in uh, Chicago, we've got to put some sausage on the pie then. How about that sausage? Are you making it yourself? Uh, we actually season our sausage, um, but uh, we buy uh, a ground uh, sausage already. So we're looking into uh, grinding it in-house. Um, but uh, right now, the consistency of having it ground, we're uh, bringing it in that way. All right, so this is the mozzarella that we make in-house. This is uh, fresh mozzarella. We don't put a uh, ton of cheese on the pizza either, just, uh, just kind of enough to balance out the sausage and pepperoni. So we uh, blend uh, our own hard cheeses um, just to give a little bit of uh, extra salt flavor to the pie and of course the uh, traditional oregano make sure that's ready to go and in goes the pie it's been about a minute or so now and now you're going to start seeing where the pizza starts developing its color now about this point <clears throat> i'll check the bottom just to make sure that you know we're not at too hot of a stone um, but right now Looks good, we're starting to develop color, but not too much, so just gonna keep the pizza moving. There's a lot of moisture in the uh, uh, fresh mozzarella, so you'll see that it doesn't brown. And the last thing that we're gonna do is just pull it up, take a look at the bottom, that's a perfect pizza right there. And then we top all of our uh, pizzas with a little bit of fresh basil, because fresh basil is never bad. And you hear that crunch? Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, this, that's perfect. I mean, that's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. So you know, the test is, you pick this pizza up. You know, and you can hold this pizza, like that, because it's, it's cooked perfectly. You yeah. know. So, and it's. With smell of vision, we could properly convey how good it smells. So. Right. <laughs> so, and that's. Uh, you know, sausage pepperoni pizza with our uh, house-made uh, mozzarella cheese, so it doesn't get much better. Just tell me up.